I want to see like what's what's gonna be happening with the gas prices like over time. Okay, uh, what will they ever go back down? So we're gonna be looking at every local news gas station where gas prices go up. Uh, this is only like a minute, uh, but bitch, I'm gonna give my two cents into this thing because it's getting a little crazy. So. Uh, people are paying 40 cents more a week ago, 57 cents more a month ago. Wow. So let me tell y'all, you know what, let's start. Gas video. prices are going up again. And you know what that means? A hastily made story about it on your local five o'clock news. We'll start with the still shot of the gas station sign, obviously. Then someone. Where is this Indiana? Cause, uh, 429. We'll be looking and open so up nice. The gas tank and put the thing in. Next, we're gonna do a shot of the price ticker as they fill up with gas. After that, we'll probably just interview someone at the gas station and ask them very leading questions to get them to make the situation sound way more extreme than it actually is, like this. I can't afford to go to the grocery store anymore. I can't afford food anymore. Usually, after work on a Friday, I go down to Chili's and get a cold beer, maybe a two for twenty. But now, with gas prices being the way they are. I can't even afford that. After that, we'll show some more shots of the person we just interviewed wow. getting gas and maybe showing them looking frustrated like this or maybe like this. Not yet convinced that the world is ending tomorrow? How about another doomsday soundbite? I mean, at this point, I'm honestly thinking about maybe, you know, taking out a second mortgage on my house or selling one of my kidneys or something. Then we'll conclude by telling you. <laughs> very goofy. Talk about selling one of my kidneys. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. It gotta be more. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's hear more. Let's see. Cause honestly, oh, let's go here. I'm gonna tell you this right now. What oh, my? I drive an hour. So that means every two days, 2.5 days, I got to get gas. So that's 50 every two days. I'm spending 200 a month on gas. That's not healthy. Um, climbing even higher as we've been That reporting. is not healthy. That ban on Russian oil is impacting the already historic gas prices. We have coverage on both coasts. So let's first go to Trevor Alt there in Los Angeles, which has some of the high. I'm going to tell you this right now. If Russia is still fucking with the gas because they are war, uh, we might have to end this shit quick. All right, because you ain't going to be messing with us. All right, we're not even doing nothing to your ass. You ain't going to be messing with us in the country. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, Robin. Listen, I know I'm not breaking any news when I tell you these prices are eye popping here at the Chevron. It's seven dollars oh, and twenty nine cents a gallon. Wow! A small car with a twelve gallon tank. It would cost you eighty seven dollars to fill it all the way up. Of course, we know this is the top end of the spectrum here in California. It's the most expensive state. The average price for a gallon here is five. Wow. <clears throat> he just described my car. I will be damned. I will quit my job and walk. 15 miles if I have to pay goddamn 80 something dollars every two days. That's more than my goddamn car note. $5.67. But we all know that nationally these prices are through the roof. The average cost nationwide now is $4.33 a gallon. That's up 63 cents in just a week's time. And in fact, right now, the average cost is climbed above $4 a gallon in a staggering 38 states. The cheapest gas in the country right now, on average, in Kansas? any state is in Kansas. And if you're trying to buy gas there right now, it's going to cost you $3.82 a gallon. Robin. All right, Trevor, thank you. That's not well, bad. There, GMA, okay, shut your ass up. Robin, no, Robin. be quiet. Don't you unpause yourself, woman. What the hell? You have got to be kidding me. Oh, oh, Biden did this. Hold on. This is Biden? Yo. Q. 
keep going up. Whoa. Whoa. If I would have had this when I was maybe 20. New this morning, energy giant Shell says it's going to stop buying Russian oil and natural gas. The company also plans to shut down its service stations and any other operations in the country. And of course, that could uh, create a cause, uh, or sorry, I should say cause a big. Damn, look at calves. Holy night. Damn, baby. Ripple effect as we see gas prices reaching new highs. The average price of a gallon nationwide right now is more than $4.10, and that could jump, as we know, another 50 cents in coming weeks. So our Cleo Green is here tracking the prices, and Cleo, everyone's just looking for Little, what you got to say, well, mama? A little relief, right? Uh, it's definitely some pain at the pump. I mean, we haven't seen prices this high since 2008. Get to the point. The economic throughout much of the year. So, yes, pain at the pump. In fact, Gas Buddy, they had to send out this tweet to some people to let them know that they're experiencing some slowdown on their website and they're making sure things are up and fast and working again because fine compared to what's happening across the country. Look at the prices here, here in California, uh, $5.34, and that's cheap compared to some parts in Cali, Nevada at $4.59, Oregon $4.51, on the East Coast, New York at $4.26. Now, the national average today from AAA is about $4.10. Now, if you're okay. in the Lone Star State, it's about $3.70. Texas? And folks out in Tarrant County are paying this price. People out in Kaufman County, uh, Collin County, Dallas County, still sitting out, uh, sitting at about three dollars and fifty cents to three dollars and sixty cents but we can Lucky. all hit that four dollar price pretty soon here all right let's bring up this video here because some rural west texas counties are already paying that four dollars per gallon now petroleum experts they predict will be paying that price here in north texas around late march or early april so why are the prices so high? There's a few factors contributing to the increase like supply and demand, and this has been going on because of inflation. But the main reason right now is the Russian invasion of Ukraine. U.S. oil surged to about $130 a barrel overnight on the possibility. There is the possibility that the U.S. could bar imports from Russia due to the conflict with Ukraine. We saw what Shell did this morning. Now, this could help you out this morning. Experts say uh -huh. the day of the week affects gas prices and filling up on certain days could potentially save you some money as those prices continue to increase. So thanks for this graph here from Gas Buddy on their Twitter page saying that the best day to fill up is going to be Monday and Friday. If you can avoid Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday. And some what? Wait a minute. Thursday. Do I have to get gas? Morning to save some money at the uh, pump. Fill up at Costco, Sam's Club, Walmart, or Kroger. So I'll probably try to head to Costco and see if that can help me out a bit. And paying cash at the pump if you can, it could actually save five to ten cents a gallon if you go inside and really? pay cash cards. If you pay, pay All right, shut your ass up. Well, I know for sure that I'm in trouble. Uh, I will have to get a closer job or just go ahead and get this CDL because this this is that BS. But, uh, yeah, this is talking about gas. I hope you guys enjoyed your guys' day. Here we go.